Hello and welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can split off your Spotify or Apple Play Music or iTunes or whatever app it is that you use. I'm going to show you how you can split off the music on your Go XLR so that you can fade up and down the music volume. I'm also going to show you some other tidbits of information, which are more like quality of life things within the video, all obviously in relation to music through your headset and specifically to your stream as well. This is one in a number of different videos I've done about the Go XLR including like setting up the Go XLR, splitting off Discord audio, setting it up within OBS Studio and various others. So please check the links in the description if you've not already set up your Go XLR or if any of those things are of interest to you. But this particular video is going to focus specifically on splitting off the music into the Go XLR and making that fadeable only on its own as an isolated sound for both you and your chat in your stream. So yeah, it should be a pretty straightforward video. If you do find this useful, feel free to like the video. It definitely helps me. And of course, if you want to subscribe, by all means do so you're also welcome to check me out on my stream i stream most days at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana and let's go let's get into this okay so by default the way that it works is that all of the system sounds will be coming through i think the system fader which is any system noises any chat music that's coming from any apps any like chrome browser noises youtube things like that so what we need to do is not split off all of those system noises but just the one application let's say spotify or if you're using itunes or apple music or whatever music platform you're using that's outputting a sound to your system we want to split off that noise the way we do this we need to right click on the sound icon open the sound settings you can also search for it in here sound settings like that now if you've checked out my video on how to set up the go xlr linked in the description you'll know that having the system output device is probably the right version to go with and also if you're using a wireless headset again setting up a wireless headset there's a link in the description for that using a line in as the input device is the right move if you've got a wired headset you're probably going to be using chat mic as your line in device however for this we want to go into sound control panel and just to prove this these match up the system noises the default communications device is set to chat and the system is the default device so you want to right click and make sure that that's set now we're going to scroll down and here's the magic where we split off the system noise that we want which is the music system noise we go into app volume device preferences. Now, just to briefly explain this, the output pulls in this default here from the option that we just saw. And the same with the input, it pulls it in from this input device here. Now, by default, the default device is set to all of your system sound. So they're all coming through that system device. And on the Go XLR fader, it's this system fader here will fade absolutely everything in terms of the system sounds that are coming out, obviously excluding your microphone. So what we need to do here, and you may not actually see Spotify or iTunes or whatever it is that you're using until you actually press play on the music. The system needs to hear the sound, basically. Once you press play on the music, this should appear if you don't see it. By default, this will be set to default. We want to set this to music. So what we're doing is we're mapping the default device to the music line. And that music line has been created by the Go XLR app. So we're now going to say the music line goes through that line that can then be faded. There are some other stuff that just to quick, quickly go through within the Go XLR app as well. But now if we press play here, we should be able to hear this fade up and down. So if I get the Go XLR up here and push this up, as you can see, the music comes up, the music comes down. So that's working and I can press mute on it as well. So that's working kind of how it's intended, but there's some nuances here that you may come across. So first of all, if you find for some reason this music channel isn't like set up properly or the fader isn't working, just check that on the mixer tab here, channel three, which is the third channel here, is called music and the source is music. That will then link it. The second thing you need to do is within routing, this just routes what audio goes through what channel. These are the four output channels. It's not necessarily the same as these fader channels. These are output channels, which are like bundles of information, audio information that is. And we're saying for the headphones here, yes or no, do you want the music to come through your headset? If the answer is yes, you wanna make sure that this is clicked and you will hear the music in your headset if you don't want to hear the music in your own headset but you want your stream to hear it you would turn this off and leave just the broadcast stream mix as the one that's on providing the broadcast stream mix is 
the mix that's being used in your OBS studio or your Streamlabs OBS or whatever. If you're using a different mix here, a different line, say for instance, the line out as your audio input line into your OBS studio or your Streamlabs OBS, then you want to make sure that it's tagged here and the stream will hear it and you won't. However, I think most people are going to want to hear the music and also the stream to hear the music. But of course, some people want to hear the music and the stream to not hear the music, in which case you would turn it off on the stream broadcast mix. That would mean you could hear it, but the stream wouldn't. It means that you're vibing out and uh, the stream isn't. <laughs> For me, I like to have both checked here. One final check here. You may find that your streamer saying that the music is too loud or too quiet, but what you're hearing, it might seem too loud or too quiet. So for instance, the stream may say your music's too quiet, turn it up. But for you, you might be hearing it super, super loud. So turning it up might not actually be an option for you. So turning the music fader up, that is. What you need to do in this instance is turn your own headphones down. You need to turn the audio on your own headphones down here and try and match the level of the music here to to what the level of the music that the people on stream are hearing as well. So if they say that it's about right, and obviously this takes a little bit of testing, then it needs to feel about right to you in your headset so that when you turn the music up, the viewers also hear the music louder. And when you turn it down, they hear it going down. You don't want it to start super high for your stream and come down a little bit. You want it to be starting just right and come down to the different levels so that you can control the music to an actual effective manner on your own stream. Hopefully that makes sense. But basically, if you're having audio issues for your own hearing, then you just need to fiddle around with this headphones level so this is just what you're hearing these here are just the mix of sounds globally and this is what you hear so that about covers it how you can set up spotify itunes tidal does tidal still go cue cricket noises in the background on your go xlr on a fader line of its own but also to cover some other nuances to do with music on your stream if you're using a go xlr let me know if you found this useful in the comments feel free to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day take care